Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Out in another lovely spring morning in the forest. Um, today I want to go in depth, okay, on the raw food. So you've got your puppy at eight, week, eight weeks from the breeder. He's given you the kibble, the food that he's been weaning the pup on, off from the mother's milk to uh, kibble. Then you come home. My suggestion would be still continue feeding that food that the breeder's given you for at least two weeks. Why? First of all, get your puppy house trained, as in wean outside, which I'll make another one video on how to do that quickly. Like I said, Starfire was done within two weeks. She was house trained. She didn't wean inside anymore. Get them used to the surroundings where they're going to sleep. Get them used to the furniture. Uh, other people in the house, you know, don't slap a piece of steak the first day they come home. They've left their mother. They have also left their siblings and stuff like that. You know, they might not like you at first. So do it for about two weeks. Then you can start transitioning to the raw food diet. Now, I know I showed you how I make Starfire's food and I did my research before and it's the amount uh, that you should be worried about of the raw food. It should also be, they just come in over today. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like a private jet. One of the Royals, I guess. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, it's, it's the weight. How do you get that calculation? How do you know how much to feed? How much bone? How much liver? Yeah, it's an 80 sort of uh, protein or muscle, or not pro, yeah, the protein like steak, chicken breast. And then it also has to be a percentage of the bone. Like I said, the percentage of liver. How, how, how do you find that out? Well, there's an app that I'm gonna show you, okay? Your dog's age and the weight. And this app will calculate the amount of protein, bone, liver, uh, secreting organ and stuff. And there's a group that will show you how to start the transition. Okay? Chicken breast first for three days. Then you introduce the bone. Then you, the next week you'll introduce like maybe a bit of steak with that chicken and the bone. And then a bit of lamb, a bit of pork. Eventually you work your way onto the liver, the kidney, and the heart, and you'll have your base, your, your foundation, the mix that I do. And from there, you can top up, and you can continue to make a Gordon Ramsay dish for your dog. Start off small, so that you know what your dog likes, or what it's not allergic to, but what it doesn't do well with. So start off small, you've got 13 to 15 to 20 years, with your dog to work out and get this amazing thing okay people feed spirulina add in a bit of cinnamon uh, turmeric you know what uh, green lip muscles all these other things that you don't want to be putting in straight away but the most important thing that you should be thinking is the amounts and we're going to do that together i'm going to go home we're going to go into my con command center my man cave on the computer okay and I've got a better mic as well. I need to get a better mic for this. So we'll be going there and we'll be, we'll be looking together. Okay? That's what's important with the raw food. Because if they don't get enough bone, which is calcium as a puppy, they will take that from their own bones. Okay? You need to give them the right amount of calcium. And I know it can sound all overwhelming, but at the end of the day, once you break it all down, it's not that difficult because it's what wolves would eat in the wild. It's worked on a, like if, you, if, 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 if a wolf had to get a hold of a chicken or whatever, those body parts on the chicken, the liver, the heart, the kidney, is only 5% to, to that whole chicken. So they will be getting more chicken breast than bone, than liver. So it's all broken down from that, you get all that food and you work out the amounts. So let's let's take it inside and let's see what's going on. Okay, hello, hi there. I'm back again from the outside to the inside. This is my man cave. 
to our game from. Now, on the raw food. First link in the description I'm going to provide to you is this raw feeding uh, app. It's for the iPhone. It's free. And you go to settings. You put your dog's weight or your puppy's weight. How many weeks? And how many meals? Now it goes to three. Puppy, you want to feed four times a day. Okay. Um, and then drop gradually. Starfire is now at 11 months, coming on 12, and she just eats in the evening. She's chosen to do that. But this, anyway, you put that information, weight, weeks, and then put it on three, and then you might need to figure out to do it on four. But when you go to feeding, it will tell you exactly how much meat, bone, um, liver, and like other, as in like secreting, like as in kidneys and heart. So this really helped me out, this app, okay? Now, when it comes to meat and the bone, I just took the meat amount, in other words, in drumsticks, and that bone was just the bone that came with that. I didn't separate the meat and the bone, okay? I've just been doing, if, if it said there for me to give a, a kg of meat, I would give her a kg of drumsticks, and that bone would just be the bone in the drumstick because that's how nature would work anyway. That's So don't get confused with that. Don't separate the bone and weigh like X amount of grams. If it just says meat, give that amount, okay? And if you have any questions, let me know. Now the next uh, link in the description will be this. This is a Facebook group, okay? Raw feeding advice and support. Puppy starter. Let's go back to, this is their main sort of thing. They've got loads of different stuff, loads and loads and loads. And like I said, it can be all overwhelming, but just relax. If you're starting out with a puppy, you can go to Puppy Starter Guide, okay? And you can read, yeah. But this is the important. This guide is for puppies that have been weaned to kibble or any food other than raw. So you will have kibble. When you get it from the breeder, she came with puppy kibble, the dry stuff, the pellets. Like I said, make sure, give it two weeks, let your puppy, get, you get your puppy at eight weeks, just chill for two weeks, let them get used to the house, start out with the, the, the training, the, 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 the potty training, the house training, get them to go outside. I'll give a video about that, some advice and tips. Starfire was, uh, house trained within two weeks. Now, getting back to this. So wait two weeks, let them get used to everything, still feed them the kibble and then start. Puppies, uh, okay, to, to start, come with a 80, 10, 10 meals. So that's basically uh, protein, uh, like liver and other thing, including bone. So that basically gives you a whole thing. So you guys can read this. I know it's all overwhelming and, uh, this is like uh, how I introduce the new protein. That's what I said, okay? And it gives you all this stuff. Just read it over and over and it gives examples. But here's something important. For the first three days, so the day, the morning that you decide, that's it, I'm doing raw. For the first three to five days of a week, start with skinless, boneless protein chicken. Turkey or green tripe, they can be a bit hard. So there, you start off with chicken breast. So Starfire, one day I decided, that's it, got chicken breast, cut it up. They might look at it, whatever, and I just hand fed it to her. Then after that, you can start introducing soft bone, such as chicken wings, necks, chicken ribs, uh, okay, 10%. Now, I would recommend wings. But the thing is, if you give her, I tried to give Starfire a whole wing and she wanted to just go engulf it. So then I got a mallet, a meat mallet, and bashed the bone, bang, bang, bang. And then I wasn't too happy because there were still some sharp pieces and stuff and being, you know, wanting to be cautious. That's when I decided to go the mincing route, okay? I then minced. So then I knew that she was getting enough calcium bone that's highly important two reasons because they will take calcium from their own bones and they need to take calcium to help their bones grow so that's very important okay three three days four days 
plain chicken breasts four times a day and you will notice that they will wee a lot. It'll be just clear because they're getting all this, this, this liquid. They're not getting kibble. They won't even worry about drinking. Okay, she obviously she had water, but she was, and I gave her some goat's milk as well. But she, because she was eating all this chicken breast, you know, they pumped the chicken breast with water just to make the chicken look heavier and whatever. She was weeing a lot more just by eating chicken breast. I don't want to get off track here, but read this out. And then I said I introduced the, the, uh, the bone. So she was getting chicken, chicken, and the chicken bone. It says here not to give any liver and stuff. And then after a week basically goes by, this is when you start to give her, I would recommend giving some steak. But keep giving the chicken. So say you were giving her 500 grams of, of, of chicken, your dog 500 grams of the chicken and the bone, okay? So you were grinding or mashing up or whatever chicken bre um, drumsticks. Go, or you, don't have to, you don't have to start... Start with the chicken breasts. When it's time to go to bone, either get wings or drumstick, okay? And 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 and, and mince that up or bash it up and use that because now you don't need to get chicken breast because that's expensive, man. Just get the wings and the drumsticks. It's a lot cheaper. And use that chicken and that bone or whatever calculation amount you need to do. Now you start introducing 25%. There's a picture. So easy. Um... When the poops are good, because that's another thing that you can watch out for. If if, if you just feed a dog plain uh, chicken, no bone, it, it stools are going to be become runny and soft. If you feed too much bone, they become white. So you need to find a balance, okay? And you will, so don't panic about it. So introduce steak after a few days and then there. But remember, you still need to give the bone, okay? All right, so you don't go full steak. Continue with the bone. Always use that app and continue with the bone and just use the steak as a topper. The only reason you're doing this is so that you can see she can tolerate steak. Then the next week, while still giving the chicken with the bone, as in one, you add like uh, stop the steak and then do a bit of lamb, okay? Then do a bit of pork. Then after you've done basically four proteins, that's when you can start, they will tell you uh, down the road, yeah, you can start introducing, okay, bits of liver and stuff. And so it goes on, okay? Secreting organ, yeah, feed 10%, uh, five must be liver, other organs, okay? Then other organs fed, spleen, blah, blah. You don't have to go through, get all of these, okay? This is muscle. So, but she gets heart, she gets liver, and she gets kidney, okay? And uh, tripe, trachea, and stuff. But if you can provide with heart, liver, and kidney with that, like the mix that I did, then you're golden, and then you can go on. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot more stuff. Hit up this group on Facebook. Go to this link, and it will tell you. If you've got any questions in the comment section, just let me know. But this really uh, helped me out. And there's a there's also fish, you know what I mean? And then you can start adding eggs later, like I said. Do it gradually, okay? But in a nutshell, if you've got that app, you get the dog's weight, you get how many weeks old, okay? The app will then tell you exactly how much, okay? It will say, yeah, I can't really see because it's so... Can't even zoom in, but it will say there meat, meat and bone. But just give the meat amount, the bone will follow, and then that's the liver and stuff. You'll do that later. But read over this stuff, okay? Because I don't want to confuse anybody. But I've done it now, coming up to a year, and I've followed this. It's one year now. She's going to be one year soon in April, in May, in May, 18th of May. She's a year old, which is soon. And I just followed this gradually and gradually, and it all works out fine. And you'll you'll get to know. So don't get overwhelmed. And at the end of the day, you can either choose to give whole pieces or or mince. I mince and I give whole pieces. So because she doesn't like liver, so if I mince everything together and I add a bit of mackerel as a topper, she eats it. She doesn't even know the mince. It's really that easy. Especially if, 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 if you got the app. And I still use this app because 
as time goes by, their weight will increase, their weeks will increase, and then you gradually, it's all gradually cuts back. But it's important that you have the calculations right. And a, a dummy can do this. I mean, I'm, I'm not that high iq so all of this is perfect. Links are in the description. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.